Hello there, my name is Pelle from PatchXR and in this video I'm going to show you some of the basics of how to use Patch. I will show you how to create a new world, how to spawn blocks, how to remove, copy and select blocks and how to save your world. So. Let's say I want to create a new world or a new patch file. I do that by pressing the B button on my controller to open up this menu that we call the Quick Hub. And to create a new world, I go up here and press this plus button. Are you sure you want to change scene? Yes, I am sure. And it will create a blank scene for me. So to start building my music machine, I look down here at what we call the palette. And by touching the palette button here, I get the palette. And the palette contains all the different tools I need to, um, to build uh, patches in patch and the most important one right now is the rolodex which is the tool we use to spawn blocks and in the rolodex we have first the category wheel over here and i can scroll through the categories by hovering my controller over the wheel and pressing the trigger button and then moving my controller up and down um, Let's go to basic. Over here, I have a list of all the blocks in the selected category. By touching the scroll wheel over here or the scroll bar, I can scroll through different blocks. I can also grab the bar with the trigger, move it up and down. And over here to the right, we have the trash can. So to spawn a block, I will move the, the scroll bar to the block, hover my controller over the block, press the grab button, and then just pull out the block, and I will get it into the world. If I spawn a block by mistake, I can grab it and put it in the trash, and it will be deleted. So let's get an output block. I'm going to change the category to synthesis that has all the audio related blocks and i'm going to get a noise block pull it out and we can get some sound very nice now i am done spawning all the blocks i want so i can close the rolodex by pressing the rolodex button again or i can close the entire palette by pressing the palette button again all right, so now I have my blocks and maybe I'm building stuff and so on. Um, but let's say I have a block and I want to have another of the same block. To do that, I can copy the block and I do that by hovering my controller over the block, pressing the A button, and this will open the radial men menu um, and then to select the copy option, I just move my controller in the direction of copy. So I go like this, boop, keep holding the A button, and I can move the copy around. And there you go. Maybe it was <laughs> a mistake to copy this block, and I want to remove it again. So I press hover, press the A button again, get the radial menu and I move my controller in the direction of the remove option and the block gets removed. So let's say I have built my machine and I want to have another one of those machines. So I want to copy multiple blocks. To do that I need to select multiple blocks and the way to do that is to with your controller just hovering in thin air, 
I press the trigger button and this sphere will appear. And this is the selection sphere. And now by hovering the sphere over the blocks I want to select, you see they get highlighted and that means that they're selected now. And with the block selected, I can grab one of the selected blocks and I can move everything around. I can copy all of the selected blocks and I can remove my entire selection. If I don't want to have the blocks selected anymore, I press the A button, get the radial menu, and I go clear selection. So let me just copy this, clear selection. If I want to be more precise in my selection, I can press the uh, thumbstick to, uh, to the left, and that will make the selection sphere smaller, and I can be more precise about my selection. If I want to select a whole bunch of blocks, I can press move the thumbstick to the right and make the selection sphere bigger, and I can select a whole bunch of objects at the same time. So if I want to deselect just one block, I can press and hold down the A button and then press the trigger. The sphere will appear, but now it will deselect blocks for me, so I can modify my selection. Alright, but uh, let's say I'm very happy with my, uh, with my patch now, or my world, and I want to save it. How do I do that? To save your patch, you open the palette, and you see the S button here, press that. Oh, let me close the Rolodex by pressing the Rolodex button. Press the S button and you will get the console and it says save new world zero. I want to call my patch something else. So I backspace. So it says save, for example, my great, oh, <laughs> my great patch. And I, I choose a name and I press enter. And it says that my patch has been saved. And to close the console again, I press the X button up here. Um, nice, so now my patch is saved. I can reload it by pressing the B button to open the quick hub and going into my worlds. And you see here we have my patch my grade patch. I can press the trigger and my patch will get loaded. Really nice. Um, and I can create a new patch by pressing the plus button again. And those are the very basics of how to open patches and how to deal with blocks. So hope you're excited to start building on your own. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on uh, the Discord. All right.